Everybody is looking for ways to improve the quality of life as they age. One common issue is leg swelling, or edema, caused by excess fluid in the leg tissues. There are many reasons why elderly people might experience swollen legs, from health conditions to lifestyle factors. Leg swelling can range from mild to severe, affecting one or both legs, and can be accompanied by pain, stiffness, or heaviness. It's important to note that leg swelling isn't always a cause for concern. Sometimes it's a normal response to standing for long periods or eating salty foods. However, persistent or severe swelling should be checked by a doctor, especially if accompanied by symptoms like shortness of breath or chest pain. One main reason elderly people experience leg swelling is cardiovascular problems. When the heart doesn't work properly, blood can pool in the legs, leading to swelling. Heart failure occurs when the heart can't pump blood effectively, causing fluid buildup in the body, including the legs. Heart failure is more common in older adults due to factors like high blood pressure and coronary artery disease. Poor circulation can also cause leg swelling. As we age, blood vessels may become less flexible, making it harder for blood to flow back to the heart. Varicose veins are another common cause of leg swelling. These enlarged, twisted veins occur when the valves in the veins become weak or damaged, allowing blood to pool and cause swelling. The kidneys and liver play crucial roles in maintaining fluid balance and overall health. When these vital organs don't function properly, it can lead to fluid retention and noticeable leg swelling. Kidney disease is a frequent cause of leg swelling, especially in older adults. The kidneys filter waste and excess fluid from the blood, a critical process for maintaining health. When they're not working well, fluid can build up in the body, often showing up as swelling in the legs and ankles. Liver problems can also contribute significantly to leg swelling. The liver produces albumin, a protein that helps keep fluid in the bloodstream, preventing leakage. When liver function declines, less albumin is produced, causing fluid to leak into surrounding tissues, leading to swelling. Both kidney and liver issues can be silent at first, often going unnoticed. Many people don't realize they have a problem until symptoms like leg swelling appear, which can be a late sign. Regular checkups are crucial for early detection and treatment of kidney and liver concerns, ensuring better health outcomes. Inflammation and infections are other common causes of leg swelling in the elderly. These conditions can significantly impact their quality of life and mobility. As we age, our immune system may not work as efficiently, making us more susceptible to these conditions. This weakened immune response can lead to a higher incidence of infections and inflammatory diseases. One common inflammatory condition is arthritis, particularly osteoarthritis, which can lead to inflammation and swelling in the joints, including the legs and feet. This chronic condition can cause significant discomfort and limit daily activities. Infections like cellulitis, a bacterial skin infection, can cause redness, warmth, and swelling in the lower legs. If left untreated, cellulitis can spread and lead to more severe health issues. Older adults are at higher risk due to factors like decreased skin elasticity and poorer circulation. These changes in the body make it easier for infections to take hold and for inflammation to persist. Another serious condition is deep vein thrombosis, DVT, a blood clot in a deep vein, usually in the leg. This condition requires immediate medical attention. DVT can cause swelling, pain, and warmth in the affected leg, and is serious because the clot can travel to the lungs, causing a potentially life-threatening condition called pulmonary embolism. Early detection and treatment are crucial to prevent complications. Lifestyle Factors and Diet Lifestyle factors and diet play a significant role in leg swelling among the elderly, affecting their overall health and mobility. Reduced activity can lead to weight gain and reduced muscle tone, contributing to leg swelling. Regular exercise, even light activities, can help maintain muscle tone and reduce swelling. Consuming too much salt can lead to fluid retention, which exacerbates swelling in the legs. Sodium attracts water, causing the body to hold on to extra fluid, leading to discomfort and swelling. Many processed and restaurant foods are high in sodium, making it important to read labels and choose low-sodium options. Dehydration can also contribute to leg swelling, making it crucial to stay hydrated. When the body is dehydrated, it tries to conserve water, leading to fluid retention and swelling in the legs. Certain dietary choices can help prevent leg swelling. Eating a balanced diet rich in potassium can counteract the effects of sodium and promote better fluid balance. Foods high in potassium include bananas, sweet potatoes and leafy greens, 
which are beneficial for reducing swelling. Staying well hydrated and limiting alcohol intake can also help manage and prevent leg swelling, ensuring better overall health. Other causes of leg swelling. Medications, particularly those for high blood pressure, can cause fluid retention as a side effect. Hormonal changes such as those during menopause can also lead to leg swelling. Prolonged inactivity, often seen in bedridden individuals, can cause blood to pool in the legs leading to swelling. Certain medical conditions like lymphedema and venous insufficiency can also cause leg swelling. Understanding these various causes is crucial for proper diagnosis and treatment. Diagnosing Leg Swelling in Older Adults When an older adult experiences persistent leg swelling, it's important to seek medical attention. The process typically begins with a thorough medical history and physical examination. During the physical exam, the doctor will check for signs of redness, warmth, or tenderness and assess the extent of the swelling. The doctor may order tests like blood tests to check kidney and liver function, urine tests, and imaging tests like ultrasounds to check for blood clots or problems with blood flow. Treatment Options and Prevention Treatment for leg swelling in the elderly depends on the underlying cause. If a medical condition like heart failure or kidney disease is responsible, treating that condition is the primary focus. Simple lifestyle changes can help reduce leg swelling. Elevating the legs above heart level, wearing compression stockings, and regular exercise can improve circulation and reduce swelling. Diet modifications, such as reducing salt intake and eating a balanced diet, can also help manage leg swelling. Prevention is always better than cure. Regular checkups, a healthy lifestyle, and careful management of chronic conditions can help prevent leg swelling. Understanding the causes and taking proactive steps can help many older adults maintain better leg health. In conclusion, leg swelling in the elderly can be caused by a variety of factors including medical conditions, lifestyle choices, and dietary habits. It's important to consult healthcare professionals for accurate diagnosis and appropriate treatment. Preventative measures such as regular exercise, a balanced diet, and proper hydration can help manage and reduce the risk of leg swelling. Stay informed and proactive in maintaining your health. Remember, knowledge is power. Understanding the causes and knowing the steps to take can make a significant difference in the quality of life. Encourage your loved ones to seek medical advice and make necessary lifestyle changes. Together, we can ensure healthier, happier lives for our elderly population. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more informative content. Stay healthy and take care.